Hi YouTube! Hey love squad! So it's been a while. I took a break because I needed it, <laughs> basically. And I told you guys that I would do that and be coming back in the second week of December. I honestly didn't know what I was going to vlog about. Um, I'm going to get back into pick a cards and tarot and pick a card reaction specifically because that's been the most popular thing on this channel as of late. But um, I just needed a break, so I took one. <laughs> Anyways, we're back, and I was like, oh, I woke up this morning because I knew what I was going to vlog about, and it is this. I am continuing to do my my energy work, if you will. This is called Lucid-esque, and it's by a company called Vivid Dream, and it's to assist with dream recall and awareness. Um, I am someone who has very vivid, active dreams, and I have pretty psychic, intuitive dreams. Angels come to me, fairies come to me. Like in terms of like my psychic -y abilities, I get a lot of stuff in my dreams, but it comes, it goes sometimes, and then it changes. And it, my dreams are very sensitive, and I wanted to try this. Um, I've only had two lucid dreams ever. I don't consider myself to be a consi uh, a successful lucid dreamer. Um, I would love to be able to lucid dream successfully, like consistently, I should say. So maybe one day that'll happen. I've taken two lucid dreaming courses and learned a lot, but it just hasn't happened yet. Um, I think it has something to do with brain chemistry for me specifically. Everyone's brain is different. Once I figure out that whole thing and, and I'm able to do it consistently, I'll share it with you. I know that I'm going to be reading probably my next audio book or two or three is going to be about lucid dreaming. So... We'll see what happens. Um, as far as my lucid dreaming journey is concerned, I haven't stressed myself out too much about it. I just learned to just go with the flow because that type of energy can really block you from doing whatever it is that you intend to do, especially when it comes to something that's related to consciousness, if you will. But as of late, I would say um, as of a week ago and um, last night, <laughs> I, had, I took two trips. Trips being like, psychological journeys, consciousness journeys. Um, if you dabble with psychoactives, um, I am a cannabis user. So for me, um, there are some psychoactive, uh, cannabis is psychoactive, but there are some very, um, very strong <laughs> uh, strands that are more psychoactive than others. And I took an accidental trip. If you know that I am an energy person because I do tarot cards on here, so I'm going to talk a little bit about things from a pragmatic perspective and an energetic perspective. So from an energetic perspective, right now in terms of like the planetary alignments and astrology and all that stuff, um, Jupiter is really running the show right now. Um, and Jupiter is known for giving you deep like spiritual shamanic lessons um, and just clearing you out with these kind of deep spiritual lessons, but doing it in a way that's kind of fun and jovial and light versus other planets like Saturn, which will just come in and just obliterate you. And then you're just standing there like, what, what, like, what, I want my mommy. Like, what just happened? It doesn't do it like that. If you think about like Santa Claus, for example, we're coming into the holiday season. Jupiter is very, can be kind of like Santa Claus, very, very jovial about it, but still just as powerful. It might not obliterate you, but it will still whip your tail into shape. So I went on an accidental trip and I realized that, you know, Jupiter is running things right now. So that's what happened. And I know you're like, how did you go on an accidental trip? Um, I tried some edibles. I'm in California. It's legal. And um, I underestimated, <laughs> that's the thing about edibles. I underestimated how strong they were going to be. <laughs> and I just had to just, I was just, I was just in my mind. I was just like, I'm going to just lay down. Like, we're not even going to get up. I got some of the best sleep. But my dreams, the visions, I saw my fears. So I cleared a lot of stuff. I saw my fears. I exercised a lot of, there was some, there was some dark stuff going on in there that I knew. I was like, just get it out. I was like, I don't know. Um, sometimes when you do that type of thing, you don't know if you're actually walking around moving. I was like, I hope I stayed in my, in my room. <laughs> I'm visiting my family. Um, but anyways, that was trip number one. Um, I took another trip that wasn't as dramatic as that trip, but still trip with this. So 
Number one, do I recommend this if you're wanting to get into your consciousness and just do consciousness work? Yes. For lucid dreaming, if you um, want to try it, I would recommend it. Like I said, I don't consider myself to be a lucid dreamer. I did not. I had lucidity last night, but it wasn't like where I was controlling my dream, where, you know, with, with a typical lucid dream where like, they'll be like, oh, I flew. You know, I wanted to fly. I could fly. I was, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you about the dream too. <laughs> So what happened for me with this was that um, my conscious voice was amplified. It was like I was speaking, but it was with a um, bullhorn and I could hear myself, but I wasn't controlling the dream. dream. And I want to um, get to the point where I'm able to control my dreams. I hope that one day I'll be able to do that. Um, so I didn't control my dream, but I definitely was conscious and like I could hear, I could feel the heightening. So it definitely does work. Um, I will say that. Um, my dream. So before I went to bed, I'm always processing. Always, 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 always. And I'll, okay, this is personal, but it's, it's related. So I'm going to tell you, um, before I start though, if you're uncomfortable with sensuality, sex, bodily fluid, discussions about sex, this is about to be sexual. Okay. It is what it is. <laughs> In your dreams, you do what you do. Um, but before I went to bed, like I've, I've just been observing my my levels of just um, sensual energy lately and just been like, uh, just honest, like I haven't really been that horny um, and I'm, my sexual drive is pretty strong. Um, now that being said, I'm not active. I've been practicing sexual transmutation and I just, um, you know, I compartmentalize. I'm waiting for the right person. Okay. I'm not out here in these streets. I let go and release a little bit when I was in Thailand, but not that much. Um, I just really have just been like, nah, we just we just wait. So I've been patient and practicing sexual transmutation. But it's weird because as I continue to cleanse and release and clear, I notice that I just don't have the same drive, like that energy. Just, and I'm like, what's wrong with me? Because that's not my normal. So I was thinking about that as I was going to bed last night. So what ended up happening in my dream is that I had a non-sex sex dream, which lets me know that I need to work on my uh, sacral chakra, which is related to creation. I told you guys I would be dipping back and forth between the energy and the pragmatic because that's also related to my projects like this vlog and work and just attracting more opportunities. Like I want to make sure that all my chakras and stuff Everything is clear at this point. Like, I feel really clear. I know for a fact that I'm clear. I'm just working on strengthening and opening. So I'll let it come to me how to do that. I'll be with that or whatever. But that's what what the dream was about. I know that that's what it's about. Now I'm going to tell you the dream and also tell you a little bit about the dreamscape. So a lot of times I will have dreams that take place in the same landscape or place. I have dreamscapes. Um, not to go into too much detail, but I had been in this dreamscape. This was like my second or third time in this particular place, okay, in the dream. I have never been here in real life. It's not a it's not a place in 3D, like on this plane, but it's a place in my in my consciousness. Um, it kind of reminds me of San Jose, California, if you're familiar with San Jose. It's kind of like a nice, you know, a couple hundred thousand people there, a big city, clean, pretty clean, modern, nice place. Um, I can think of even like maybe even Singapore, or Kuala Lumpur, if you need like different references, it's, it kind of, it kind of has that vibe to it. Anyways, um, and this time, this time in a dream, um, I'm realizing something as I'm telling you the dream that I usually am with family or doing something with family in this dreamscape. So this time I was with my mom and well, no, actually this this time, the last time I had I had a dream here, I was with my mom. This time, there was a family gathering. Now, mind you, we just had Thanksgiving, so it's probably influenced from that or whatever. Just having a family get together, and it reminded me of like a throwback from like the 90s when I was growing up. We used to have family dinners all the time when more of us were here. Now we're all scattered. So anyways, my cousins were there. And as I was getting ready to go, and I was me like I am now. Um, but as I was getting ready to go, one of my cousins basically had a medical emergency and I ended up taking her to the hospital. Um, but the journey there, what happened? Like I dropped her off at one hospital and then I was like, okay, I was like, should I stay? I was debating back and forth in my mind. I was like, no, I'm going to go. And I left. And then, then I was like, no, I'm going to turn back. But 
dreamland, I went to a completely different hospital and I was like, oh, I'll just find her at this hospital. Now, logically, it was a completely different hospital and I knew that, but I went anyways. Um, in that dream, as I was, I made my way, drove back to this completely different hospital, but I was going to her same uh, department where I had left her at the other hospital. And I had to go on this whole adventure. I was looking for her, looking for her, but it wasn't the right hospital, right? <laughs> and then um, there was an unseen in my dream. I told you guys I'll have, like, I call unseen, like the fairies, angels, things that we can't see on this plane, but I see them in my dreams. Um, there was an unseen in my dream and it's, my dreams are weird. Like the unseen, sometimes they will disguise themselves. Like they will look like my friends, but I'll know that it's not my friend. I'll know that it's something and not someone. This unseen looked like a character from my job. I'm an online teacher and I'm like, um, with my kids platform that I work on, we have like these cartoon characters that we work with. So he was dressed like the cartoon character. I was like, you ain't. You ain't the detective. It's a detective. I was like, I know you're something, but I don't know what you are yet. But you'll let me know. And he just kind of was walking. I was in the hospital. I was going up the stairs, looking for my cousin at the wrong hospital. And I walked out onto the roof way or the roof um, on the stairs. And it was a like stairwell, stairwell, but it was a roof. It was an open roof, if that makes sense. Kind of like a fire escape type of stairwell, but it was a hospital. I know my dreams are crazy. It, it all makes sense in my dreams. But anyways, he was walking down on, on the roof and just walked right past me. And I sensed it. I was like, you are not human. I don't know what you are, but you're in disguise. But I was in I was in dream mode. So I was going up. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and eventually I landed... Um, I finally found the department that she would have been had that been the right hospital, but it wasn't. Here's the sex part, just warning you. So I was in this, uh, how do I describe it? I wrote it down. I was in this, doo -doo -doo -doo. what can I call this place? Like a tunnel type of place. It was like a bridge. There was like the lab and then there's this bridge place that I'm talking about. And then there was another lab. So I had got, I was kind of just in the bridge place, kind of like in between, but it had like supplies, it was like a supply area and you could see how like medical staff could be walking back and forth here to pick up supplies to go from one lab to the next. It was like a connector type of thing. Anyway, I had just stopped there after I found her, I, or I had satisfied my need to like search for her basically. But then Nicolas Cage and um, who else? There were three actors. All of them were white, American, kind of like old school actors. Nicolas Cage, who else was in here? Uh, let me see if I can find the other person. Uh, Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford. And then there was a third that I, I, he was not quite in my field of vision, so I don't quite know who it was. And I can't quite remember, but there was definitely a third person there. Anyways, I know, totally weird. It, it had turned into like a 90s, early 2000s action kind of scene, right? But it was a non-sex sex dream. So what happened was I had this device that was a pleasure device, obviously. It was like a happy ending thing. You take it. It seemed like it was an edible of some, some, some form, but then it was also a device. You take it and you have a happy ending. So all of them, they had it. I didn't. But I gave, they were like, we want to try it. We want to try it. And they all tried it and they had happy endings. And there was this bodily fluid. Nicolas Cage was the most disgusting. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but he was like, I'm not giving you this back. I was like, but I need it for whatever. He's like, no, I'm keeping this one. <laughs> I was like, damn, is it that good? So that was a really interesting non-sex sex dream. Um, that's what happened with this. <laughs> I have some more pragmatic work to do, some more energy work to do. I am going to be taking uh, this entire bottle and I'm taking another cannabis trip now that I know how strong my edibles are, but I'm going to do it in a more controlled situation this time, a more conscious one. Um, I'll follow up if you're interested. If you have questions about dreams or dream work, um, I've been practicing sleep meditation since 2018 now. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Huge fan of sleep meditation. Totally changed my life. 
can I tell you? Oh my God, so many benefits. If you have questions about sleep quality, sleep meditation, I'll, I'm sure I'll be doing more videos about this in the future. Right now, I'm just kind of in a state of flex because it's the holidays. I'm also preparing to go to Vietnam, so I'm not like, I'm not super committed to anything right now except for getting to Vietnam. It'll be a couple of months <laughs> before I'm like, huh, we're vlogging about this, this, this. I'm just wanting to stay consistent because I really worked on consistency, consistency this year with this vlog. So anyways, let me know if you have questions. I hope that was helpful. I actually am. Once I get done with this bottle, I'm going to try another brand on Amazon um, and I'll let you know what I think about that versus this one. Um, but anyways, other than that, please like this video, comment below with your questions, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>